Hello everyone, Steve Burns here from Chromeillusion.com. I have been getting a lot of calls concerning plugins in Photoshop CC in that the plugins are not seen in a folder. In fact, there's no way to really import plugins into Photoshop CC. Actually, there really is. Now, before, I'm going to go over here to edit and I'm going to access my preferences and I'm going to target my plugins folder here. Now, in the past, what we had was a button or an option to browse to the plugins folder that we want to import in. For example, third party plugins like the Nix software, which is what I'm going to actually talk about today. Now, we no longer have a button, okay? So, there's another way to bring your plugins into Photoshop via shortcuts. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and cancel this out for now. If we go to our filters menu, you'll notice that Nix software is not installed in here so far. Let's go on and install it currently. And I'm going to close out Photoshop and I'm going to go to the Nix software and while it's installing, let's go ahead and tell it to apply it. And let's go ahead and close Photoshop. We closed it down completely because we want the plugin folders to, to load in seamlessly. All right, so the Photoshop has been closed. Let's go ahead and retry. And yes, I'm going to install it in. English, next. And I'm going to agree as normal. Now, it's asking for a destination folder. Now, it's going to put into the program files. I think what I prefer to do is to place the plugins into a third party folder, which is on my desktop. So on the desktop, which I've already accessed, I should have a third party plugin here. I'm also going to make a new folder and call this one Nick Suite. And within that folder, we're going to install all of the Nick plugins. So click next and install. Okay, all done. Let's go ahead and, and target finish. Let's open up Photoshop and take a look inside and, and see if our plugins are present. So I've installed the Nix software in a third party folder. Go ahead and take a quick look in here and see what we have. So it is not here yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut and we're going to place it into the plugins folder where Photoshop resides on our hard drive. Let's go ahead and shut down Photoshop CC for now and let's go to the desktop let's find the third party plugins folder right there and let's target now the Nix suite is here okay now what i should probably be, probably do is drag the Nick collection into the root of the third party plugin so what nick did was it made a brand new folder with its name and placed it inside the one that I told it to um, install in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop this right into the root. Now I didn't really need to make another folder. I was thinking that the raw plugins will be placed into the root of the Nick suite. So no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that folder. I don't need it anymore. There is the Nick Collective. Right click on Nick Collection. Create a shortcut for the Nick Collection. Right click copy it. Now let's go find the folder that I want to place this all into. Now I'm using 64-bit Photoshop CC. So in my C drive on the Windows, I'm going to find the program files. Then what I'm going to do is look for Adobe and go and look for Photoshop. So scroll down, target Photoshop, and look for the plugins folder. As you can see, I have two other associates right there. The Athen Tech, also Exposure 5 is placed in here. And of course, they show up in Photoshop. So I'm gonna right click, paste the shortcut there. It's asking for administrative rights on Windows and it's installing, there it is. All right, now, the shortcut is installed in the plugins folder. Photoshop should boot up, see the shortcut and then navigate to the third party Photoshop plugins that I have on my desktop and recognize those those plugins just fine. Let's go test this out. Let's open up Photoshop. All right, so here we are back in Photoshop. Let's go over to the filters menu 
And if you look right down here, there it is, the Nick collection. Let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to the file menu, just op open up a recent folder that I had. There we are. And I have a duplicate uh, layer of this particular image I shot over in Death Valley. Let's go over to the filter menu and target the Nick collection. There it is. They're all listed here. Color Effects Pro, Define, HDR, and so forth. Okay, so there that should help you guys out in terms of um, installing plugins into Photoshop CC. We no longer have a, a button to actually navigate to the plugins folder uh, uh, to import the plugins into Photoshop. You now have to use shortcuts to associate your plugins within Photoshop CC. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. And this is Stephen Burns signing off and more tutorials are on their way.